Hello and welcome to Jurisage Academy's YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss important areas that can be tested in CLAT PG and ILET PG 2023 examination. Now that the exam is in December 2022, there's very less time for you to revise everything from such a vast syllabus. So we've compiled a list of important topics from various law subjects that will be important for CLAT as well as ILET PG 2023. So let's start and discuss the first four very important areas that are very probable to be asked. The first is the issue of EWS quota, that is economically weaker section reservation or quota, which was introduced by the 103rd Constitutional Amendment Act of 2019. It is important for you to have a holistic understanding of the concept of reservation, particularly articles 14, 15, 16, and the landmark cases related to it. And because recently, a five-judge bench of the Supreme Court in the case of Janhit Abhyan versus Union of India has upheld the constitutional validity of this particular amendment. It would be important for you to have a good understanding of this case as well. So this remains the number one important area for both CLAT as well as ILET PG 2023. Coming to the second important topic, we have the issue of hijab ban. Now, as you know that the hijab issue has been ongoing since the start of this year, but recently it has become even more important with the split verdict in the case of Ashad Shifa versus State of Karnataka, in which the Supreme Court, the two-judge bench, has given differing opinions. Whereas Justice Hemant Gupta is of the opinion that Karnataka High Court was right in upholding the government order which banned hijab in schools and colleges. On the other hand, Justice Dhulia was, was of the opinion that this amounts to violation of right to privacy and dignity of Muslim women. So it will be important for you to have a good understanding of this case and also of concepts under Article 19, 21 and right to religion under Article 25 and 26 of the Constitution. Additionally, you will also be required to know the basics of the essential religious practice test. Mm -hmm. Coming to the third important area, we have the issue of right to reproductive autonomy. This becomes important for both these exams because the Supreme Court has recently pronounced some very important verdicts on the issue of reproductive autonomy of women. So you would need to have a good understanding of the concepts. That is sections 312 to 318 of Indian Penal Code. Additionally, you would also be required to know the provisions of the Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act and a few rules of the MTP rules as well. The important cases will be X versus Principal Secretary in which the court upheld the right to reproductive autonomy of women and it also interpreted some rules of the MTP rules and the MTP Act. Additionally, earlier this year, the US Supreme Court also overturned the landmark judgment of Roe versus Wade in the case of Dobbs versus Jackson. So that issue will also remain relevant here. Coming to the last important area, we have the power of speaker under the Constitution of India. This issue has been coming again and again in various recent decisions of the Supreme Court. So it would be important for you to know the powers of the speaker under the Constitution and what can he do and what cannot he do, particularly in light of two judgments. First is the case of Ashish Shailar versus Maharashtra Legislative Assembly, wherein the Supreme Court was hearing the matter of the suspension of 12 BJP MLAs of the Maharashtra Legislative Assembly. And additionally, a 2022 decision of Gyanendra Kumar Singh versus Bihar Legislative Assembly, in which the court was looking into how much power does a speaker have under the anti-defection law. So this brings us to the end of the first part of this video. Please tune in again to listen to more parts and do prepare well. If you like this video, please like and share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.